everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, um, first of all, sorry, I actually filmed this whole video and I didn't have enough storage on my phone, so I'm just re-filming it. Um, so first I just want to say I'm sorry for taking so long to film this video again, but yeah, um, it's just, it's not a positive video, honestly, and it's been very hard for me to sit down and actually do it. But first, I just want to say that, um, so I'm five or no, I'm six months post-op now um, from the knee symptom application and the hernia repair. And my symptoms are still the same. So I still have heartburn every day. I still have LPR. I still have wheezing. I still have breathing problems, um, shortness of breath, all of that. Um, I'm still on PPIs. So I take 40 milligrams a day and I take Gaviscon as well. Um, yeah, so I know that there's a lot of success stories out there and people that, you know, have had amazing results from the surgery, but unfortunately, I'm just not that person for the moment. I have heard some people say that it takes a while for their symptoms to get better, symptoms to improve, some people after a few weeks, some people after a month, some people even after a year. However, I don't feel like my symptoms are getting better. I don't feel better, um, which is really disheartening because when you're told that this is your last option um, and at your age, like, yeah, at your age is the last option. You can't keep taking PPIs for the rest of your life, even though they weren't working. Um, you know, it's just not possible. And I'm back in the same position. I'm back to square one. The fact that you know i'm still having the same problems and now i have symptoms on top of what i was having before so it's so when i eat um a lot of my food gets stuck um i definitely i can't talk while i'm eating like if i'm around anyone i can't go out to a restaurant and have a conversation i need to sit in silence and eat and really chew and let my food go down and that's after six months um so it was really hard over christmas Break because I went to so I work in a school so I have like Christmas holidays the school holidays and I went back to the UK to see my family and that was really difficult over Christmas time you know trying to catch up trying to you know all the Christmas meals all the you know Christmas day and all that kind of stuff it was pretty hard for me um, dealing with my symptoms I also get this weird thing it's like it, sometimes it feels like someone's like pulling on my esophagus and like it pulls on my throat and it makes it feel like it's hard to breathe which is really annoying um i did hear some people say that that could be a problem with the vagus nerve um i get very out of breath when i'm speaking but i have not a, like i don't have a problem in the gym like i can still work out okay i obviously get out of breath but that's normal but when i talk and when i do like simple tasks i get really really out of breath um i still have no energy like my energy levels are zero I find it very hard to stay awake. I work with children as well, so that makes things very, very difficult for me. Um, I still, so I still take PPI, I take it 20 milligrams a day. I still take Gaviscon. I don't take steroids anymore, like inhalers, but I don't think those were helping anyway. So yeah, um, and the doctors told me I should stop taking the Gaviscon because I could intoxicate myself with the sodium and the, um, I can't remember what else is in it there's another thing in it but it was them who gave it to me so you know it just doesn't make any sense and also Gaviscon is the only thing that helps me like if I have really bad symptoms that's what I'll take I try to take less now so I try to like if I get symptoms from eating something that's like neutral like the pH is a normal level then I'll just just kind of try to deal with it and let it go down but if I know I've eaten something that I maybe shouldn't have I definitely take the Gaviscon because I don't want like the pepsin coming up and causing more damage to my throat so i just prefer it like that um yeah so i feel like these last five or six months have been really hard for me because you know i really thought that i was gonna get my life back and be able to continue to live and just you know feel normal and not have to live with this disease and i know that you guys watching this now are obviously going through the same thing or have a similar problem and you know, it sucks, it does. Like, I'm not gonna like sugarcoat it, but it sucks. It just, it's really hard to deal with, but I feel like we have to stay positive. You know, things could get better. It could just take time. I will be seeing my surgeon next week. So 
you know, I'm gonna tell him, hey, look, you know, you told me, okay, maybe it will take a little bit longer, just keep taking the PPIs, but I've been taking them for six months. I want them to look, you know, and see if something is wrong. Um, I did have last month, um, I had the, you know, the pH, I can't remember what the name is, the one where they put the tube down just to like your throat, like the level of your throat, and they test like the acid coming back up. Um, I will insert a few, few clips here. Here it is. I have the machine here. As you guys know, if you've watched my other video, I had the operation, the knee stem fund application, um, just under four months ago, and I'm still having. There wasn't really like the acid was kind of at a normal level, which is really strange because it was a big difference from what I saw from when I did it before the surgery to after the surgery which is confusing because I still have symptoms, the same symptoms. So it's very confusing. So I haven't actually seen my doctor yet to talk about those results, but I feel like they're gonna be like, oh, maybe it's in your head, you know, because there's this test saying, hey, well, your acid levels are kind of normal. I mean, that's what I'm thinking from what I've seen on it, you know, and before they weren't, so it doesn't make sense, but I'm 100% still having the same problems. Like, it's horrible. Excuse me, it's, it's horrible. Honestly, it's hard to live with. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry that this video is not positive and I just wanted to say like, you know, um, would I recommend the surgery? Honestly, no, because, you know, for me it hasn't worked out, but there are a lot of people that it has worked out for. So it just depends on the person. I guess it's, I don't know what it is, what makes the difference between one person to another person of the success rate of the surgery because it's a very high success rate but I have heard a lot of people that it's not worked for so it's confusing to me but I will definitely do another video update after I've spoken to my doctor you know what he thinks would be best what he thinks the root is maybe there is something wrong if they look again now you know maybe I need a redo even though I really don't want to do a redo because I just started my new job I don't want to have to take time off again you know but I've just decided that 2022 um, I'm gonna put my health first I'm gonna like it's got to be the my top priority I've got to get myself healthy again and you know there's I mean obviously it would be sad but there's always work there's always job opportunities but your health you know that's all you got like you've got to take care of your health so you know if any of you are struggling mentally physically just know that like I get it and I know it's so hard because people around you, if they don't actually feel what you're going through, they won't understand. And it's so hard for people around you to get it. And I know how difficult it is to try to explain to someone how you're feeling and try to explain this because to a lot of people it's like, well, it doesn't seem that bad, you know, it's just you're having heartburn from food. It's not like a big thing, but it is, you know. So, you know, I just want everyone to try to stay positive. We have to start this new year with a positive mindset. Just try our best. Um, I'm going back to the acid watchers diet. So I will do a separate video talking about my diet now, some recipe ideas, um, my tips and tricks for acid reflux. So look out for that video. It will be up next. I'm so sorry for rushing this video and maybe talking too fast, but I've already filmed this video twice and I'm going to the gym now so I need to get ready and then prepare myself for my first day back at work tomorrow um, after the holidays so it's gonna be an early night and an early start but yeah um, if you have any questions or if I've missed anything out please comment down below um, you can send me yeah just comment down below um, or you can send me a message on my Instagram um, I would leave my details down below um, if you have any questions or if you need any help or you just, you know, want to talk about your symptoms because I know it's hard. So yeah, I'm an open book and yeah, I really hope you all have a healthy 2022 and I'll see you in the next one.